In this video, I'm reviewing the Cuisine Art Elemental 11 cup food processor with dicing kit and adjustable slicing disc. So let's get started. The Cuisine Art food processor may look a little overwhelming thanks to the size and the number of boxes it comes with. To start with, instead of trying to pull out the items from the box, it's easier to either lay it down on your counter or floor and then slide everything out. It comes with a three-part pusher. The small pusher has a little drizzle hole and this sits inside the medium-sized pusher and these both sit inside the large pusher. And if you just slide the large pusher in, you'll see the metal locking mechanism here. And if you pull out this grey piece here, it's a lock, so this will lock in both the large and the medium tubes. Let's pop in the small tube and then to lock this piece in, we need to twist it counterclockwise and now it's nice and secure. When you unlock it, push in this grey piece, pull out the medium or the large tube and the small tube will still be locked in. It comes with a large chopping and mixing blade. I'll put a few pieces of toasted bread in here. And I'll use the pulse cutter first just to chop it up roughly. and then press the high button to run it continuously and prepare some bird crumbs. The chopping blade features the blade lock system, so if you turn it upside down, the blade should stay in place and not fall out. And here is the breadcrumbs, which came out wonderful after two minutes of processing on high. Insert the stem adapter when you're using the reversible shredding disc. The reversible shredding disc has markings for both the coarse and fine shredding. For the type of cheese you want, face the disc upwards. Attach the work ball lid and I'll get the motor running first on high setting before I add a couple of blocks of mozzarella cheese, which I'm going to fine shred first. And then I'll test out the coarse side for cheddar cheese. And both of these are straight out of the fridge. They have been chilled in the fridge only, not in the freezer. Okay, taking a look, removing the work ball lid shows that there's no pieces left on top of the shredding disc for either the mozzarella or the cheddar cheese. But I am very impressed with the underside of the lid which has very little cheese stuck under it for both types of cheeses that I just processed. On other food processors, I've always had clumps of cheese stuck all the way around the lid. So this is definitely a big score for me. And let's take a look at this fine shred of mozzarella, which came out beautiful, nice and consistent. And the coarse shred also for the cheddar cheese came out beautiful, really nice. Both the mozzarella and the cheddar processed beautifully with very little chunks in the work bowl. And here it is again, the mozzarella fine shred and the cheddar coarse shred. Inserting the stem adapter first, I'm going to place the dicing grid on top with the grid towards the handle and the control buttons. Then place the dicing disc on top, secure the work ball lid, and you can use the large feed tube for slightly bigger ingredients. Pull out the gray lock to lock it in, and I'll put in half an onion because I can't fit a whole round one in. Also half a bell pepper. I'll use the wide mouth feed tube for larger foods like potato, but it's still a little bit too big, so I'll still need to cut it in half. The wide feed tube has a safety feature built into it, it seems, because the motor wouldn't start when I place the potato in it. 
Then once I repositioned it a bit closer towards the edge of the tube, the machine started running. So if you do find that the machine's not running or starting, just reposition your food in the tube. Okay, taking a look at the process, the onion left a couple of pieces on the slicing disc and then there'll always be food on the grid. Same with the bell pepper. And then the potato for sure will most likely have larger pieces stuck just because the skin is a lot harder. So you'll just need to use the cleaning tool to push through any food that's stuck in the grid. Depending on how hard or soft the food is, it should be easy enough to do. The onion I had no problem pushing through as I did with the bell pepper, but the potato couldn't be pushed through so it needed a little bit more effort to clean it out. The potato was pretty jammed in the grid so I had to use a bit more effort to clean that out. But take a look at how well it diced these vegetables. The onion, beautiful. The bell pepper as well came out really nice. And the potato again, they all came out really nice, wonderful. Nice and uniformed cubes. And it was so easy and very quick to do. Definitely saves a lot of time if you have a lot of chopping to do. And for the leftover pieces that I couldn't push through, I just chopped them up by hand. The dicing accessories are kept in the storage case that's included in the box. Depending on where you buy it from, you may or may not have this particular storage case. So we can store the dicing cleaning tool in there by laying it down like so. Then you'll add in the dicing grid on top of that and then place the dicing disc on top. Lastly, the cover, which is also the flat work bowl cover. Unfortunately, it doesn't store either the slicing disc or the reversible shredding disc. I can only store either the stem adapter or the chopping blade inside the work bowl, but I'll have to find somewhere else to store the other three parts, which is a little disappointing. You can also use the cover for the dicing kit as a cover for the work bowl when you're processing food. It also has a little small cup with a drizzle hole. Turning it counterclockwise will lock it into place. Moving on to the adjustable slicing disc and underneath this you'll see the rotating hub to set the level of thickness from 0 to 7. Just a side note, when you are rotating to the highest level, it does get a little awkward to grasp the top of the hub here because the blade is being pushed up. Choose your size and then place the disc on top of the stem adapter. I'll slice up some baby cucumbers starting with size zero. And just to show you, sometimes you will get some pieces left on top of the disc and that is normal with most food processors. The cucumber sliced really well other than the ends because they were rounded tips. You can trim them off if you want. And I did slices in every sizes just to show you. And here they are starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And these came out really nice. Again, it's a really good feature. I think it saves a lot of time and they came out really nice and even again. So overall, the Cuisine Art Elemental Food Processor works really well for chopping, shredding, dicing and the adjustable slicing disc is a great option letting you slice your foods in different sizes and lets you get a little more creative with your meals. The trick is to pack the food items into the tube and you should get some nice even slices and diced food. I did feel the need to apply a lot of pressure to the control buttons because they tended to stick quite a lot of the times and I'm just wondering if this may cause the plastic coating on the buttons to wear out quickly. 
550 watt motor base is lighter and smaller in size when compared to the KitchenAid 13 cup food processor that I reviewed recently but I'm also not sure if that compromises the quality of the motor. The Cuisine Art parts definitely has a cheaper feel to the plastic used and I am worried if the motor will hold up on it because I can already see it starting to disintegrate here with these little bits chipping away on both the base of the work bowl and also the motor shaft which I'll show you here. So that's just one thing I'm not a little confident on here with the Cuisine Art food processor. This is my first Cuisine Art food processor that I've owned so I'm going to see how it's holding up. The Cuisine Art though is almost half the price of the KitchenAid 13 cup food processor and unfortunately this shows in the quality of the material used. But in my opinion I do feel that the Cuisine Art did do a much better job processing the food meaning most of the food ended up in the work bowl rather than getting stuck under the lid or on top of the discs. The size and the weight of the motor base does make it ideal to store away in the cupboards but the fact that there is a separate accessory kit for storing only the dicing kit parts but not the shredding or the slicing disc that's a huge disappointment. The dicing kit itself is around 10 inches big and seven and a half inches high so so it's quite bulky to store away and then we have the two discs that have no protective covers i mean what's that all about so in addition to the storage case i also need to find a safe place to store the unprotected discs so this is my review of the cuisine art elemental 11 cup food processor with dicing kit and adjustable slicing disc if you guys found this video useful do please give it a like and if there is any questions or comments, do leave them below and I hope to catch you in my next video.